name is Nisar Hussein. I am an ex-Muslim, uh, along with my family. We have had to vacate uh, Bradford after suffering horrendous persecution uh, under apostasy. I just want to quickly highlight apostasy. Uh, in Islam, you have four schools of thought. Uh, you have the um, Maliki, Shafi, Hanfiya, Hanbali, and if you add to that mix the Shi'a, uh, Jafri school of Islamic jurisprudence. So these five combined, we uh, are under a death sentence as apostates. We are classed as apostates, and in Islam, there is no middle ground, there is no acceptance, and the ultimate penalty is death. We have suffered uh, as ex-Muslims under the death sentence according to Sharia in this country. It will take me too long to express what myself and my family have been through actually. And for the last two years we've vacated our home under armed police and have subsequently been living in hiding. Our whole way of life, a British way of life as we've known it, has been completely turned upside down, something which I could never ever imagined. Further to the disgraceful uh, threats made by Zahir Hussein, and I'm absolutely terribly ashamed he carries my, my, my own surname. However, that this uh, barbarian, and I use that word deliberately because uh, that's the only word that I can use with these type of people, which we are very accustomed to in Bradford, with lawless and, and with the impunity, conduct and attitude, he has been barking his head off, uh, actually, and which has caused us immense pain, distress and alarm uh, with regards to his disgusting rhetoric, how he's uh, going to rape, uh, and that's using a uh, civilised word, uh, if I can ex uh, use it compared to the disgusting, uh, appalling rhetoric is used part uh, in Punjabi and partly in English. Uh, the audacity of these people is something which we have come to realise for over 18 years of, of our suffering. And again, if I can express lawlessly with impunity, uh, actually, uh, and so this is the kind of mentality of the not overwhelming Pakistani community, however, it is very much deeply ingrained with this so-called religious man, and we're very acquainted with a bearded fella in our own equation, uh, with the, the clan family uh, that were central and catalyst to our own issues, uh, forcing us, after many, many years of suffering, to vacate our property, actually, and to flee for our lives. But the basis is that the Western mind now needs to understand, and I, I appreciate it very hard for them to comprehend how difficult it is because they cannot fathom uh, the actual malicious, vindictive and contemptful manner in which um, these Pakistani Muslims uh, and in Islam uh, is when it comes to the hate of the apostate. So this is, has uh, been reported to the police as far as I'm concerned. We're not uh, now under the jurisdiction of Bradford Police who for over 18 years suppressed everything. Uh, actually they were in denial, a de willful uh, denial and played it all down uh, as does the government actually. But the, 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 the threat of apostasy to us as ex-Muslims is very real. It is a very dangerous threat. It is a genocidal threat, and I use that word deliberate, in the West, in this country, and it has to be tackled. The government now has to take decisive, firm action to come against this type of uh, abuse uh, whipping up hysteria 
inciting others. And I, in this instance, I request that the authorities, the police, whichever jurisdiction uh, is in Preston, I believe, actually, although I saw it uh, at that time, some several weeks or so ago, when this uh, uh, religious Muslim fella, Zahir Hussein, uh, actually uh, was giving a groveling an apology, uh, and, and I didn't quite make the connection. However, having come to my attention now, uh, I, I wish for the full force of the law to be applied uh, under the, uh, every hate crime speech, every r religious uh, crime that it, it comes under, because the failure of Bradford Police, because this man is in Keithley, so in a similar vein, Bradford Keithley, they're not far apart, as a result of which, given the size of the community and numbers, the police, through fear, uh, actually uh, are failing to take this kind of type of uh, crime seriously, as a result of which, it is then pushing more and more ex-Muslims in fear of their lives. Uh, and actually, and so uh, in complete, they're living with these threats uh, day in, day out. And so uh, we as a family have lost everything as a result of this type of mentality. It has no room in our modern society, in our, uh, under our Western values. And so it now needs to be tackled robustly, decisively, for the betterment of, of ex-Muslims. Thank you very much.